Welcome to Top Shelf Board Games. I'm Hubba. And I'm Sabrina. And today we're doing a Hubba vs. Sabrina segment, playing Arcadia Quest. It is a final scenario. We've played through the whole campaign, and now we're down to the final scenario, which is the Temple of Dawning Light. Tonight we're going to determine who controls Arcadia and uh, has the most influence over it. Okay, so... so Temple of uh, Dawning Light, we're going to do just a quick overview of this scenario. Um, the object of this scenario is to kill Lord Fang. He's the bad guy that we are trying to defeat. Um, I'm not going to talk about Arcadia Quest too much. If you're watching this video, you probably have a pretty good idea how it works. But Arcadia Quest, we're fighting the, the, the minions on the board, and we're also against each other. We're also fighting each other. Um, so you want to get to Lord Fang first before the other one does. Correct. You want to. You're going to both be fighting him, but whoever deals the final blow to him wins the, the scenario. It's been a while since we've played this game, so if we make some rule mistakes or anything like that, put it in the comments. Let us know. But uh, we're going to just play through and uh, have some fun. If you've watched the uh, preview video to this. You, if you haven't, go back and watch the preview video. It tells you who's winning the, the who's been winning the campaign, who's got the different titles, and uh, we'll just put it this way: I'm uh, the heavy favorite in this matchup. Yeah, but we'll see. True. We'll see if it pays off. Okay, so let's go ahead and start the match. So I'm going to go ahead and activate my diva. Diva's my She's my heavy hitter. She's my tank. So we're going to go ahead and open this door for one movement point. We're going to move over here for two movement points. And then I'm going to attack this goblin archer. So he has four health. Okay. That's what I need to kill him. If I get five, oh, that's I do right. overkill. He doesn't, get to he, doesn't get to, he doesn't get to do an attack back. Correct. So I'm going to do a diva. And I'm going to activate my... I'm going to use my Bloodthirst Axe, and that gives me five dice, four, five, five dice, okay, I get five dice, and that was an awesome roll. So I got one, two, three, four, five. And an extra rice for good measure. Another dice for good measure. Mm -hmm. And just like that, I lopped the Goblin Archer in half. So the Goblin Archer... Oh, and on this scenario, there's no spawns. So once, they're di once they are killed, they're removed from the game. So I remove him from the game. He's worth one coin. I give that to D.Va. And that's her action. Now it's your turn. I can shoot there, can't I? With him, you could. Okay, let's move. So we're going to shoot in over there. Which, I don't have an... I lost his ability because he has amnesia from his other battles. So, he's a little confused. So, so what are you going to attack with? Um, well, I have to do a bow. Because I can't shoot far. Or, we have to shoot far. So, we're going to shoot with my true shot. Put your token on it. Okay. It's been like what? Four months or so since we played? It's been a year since we've played this. Okay. Um, do I have to say I'm using this for that? Or is that automatically just going no, together? No, it's a permanent ability, so. So I just automatically, okay. Right. Six dice. Six. Okay. So for each critical on the bow, it deals an extra hit. And I really don't have any spaces that I like to roll in. Okay. Wow. He did a really good roll. So she got... One, two, three, four, five. So, and it was him. Marauder. Five. Has five life. But he gets to hit back. 
So oh, she yeah. didn't she didn't get overkill. She kills him with five five hits, but he, she needed six hits to get the overkill. But he can't hit me back because I'm far away, right? Um, attack back. He can move. Payback reaction. When attacked, may move and attack the hero who attacked it. So if he moves here, he can attack me. So he can he's gonna move. But he can't attack diagonal though. His movement is one. Okay. So I can move him there. Can't do a diagonal attack, so he doesn't get to attack. Okay. He, he's dead, right? Yeah, so he's dead. Okay. And you get one gold. Oh, okay. Now, do you have to have six gold? Just six gold for your team. Team, okay. So okay, that was gonna... one, two. Hey, I get to have three. That was one, two. How did you open that without moving him? Him? But you used him. You can only activate one dude. Oh, you didn't tell me that. You're activating one hero. Oh. So, I mean, that would work. One, yeah, but... two, three, and now you're done. Because you moved three, you attacked. But if I move there, open it, and then shot, you I can't, can't move shoot live. You can't shoot because of the thick wall right there. Oh. That's the only way you can do what you did. So what if I... Oh. So you're, you're good. Okay. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I'm dead then? That's the only way you can do it, right? That's the only way you can kill that guy, yeah. So I'm done. Okay. I'm going to activate green sleeves. Green sleeves going to go one, two... Green sleeves is going to stop right here. And he's going to shoot at the Orc Marauder with his Thorn Bow, which gives me four dice. And each critical deals an extra damage. So, I did two damage and I get a roll again. Another dice. So, oops. Two and one is three damage. So that doesn't kill him. Just does three damage to him is all. You do two hits with one bow? I can't remember. Does the health stay with him? It does, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. And then, uh... Yeah, it's just his normal ability. Mm -hmm. And then he gets to move one space. Do you want to move him? That was him? Yeah. Mm, yeah. Alright. Okay, that's that's that dude's turn. Okay. Um. He... So, Johan's ability... Um, he can use swords as ranged attack as well, but I had to have melee icon icons to hit, so he can shoot in this direction. Don't you have that melee? That's crap. Yeah. Okay. That's his cool ability. Right. So he's gonna shoot into here, and he's gonna use. He's going to use. Uh, we're going to use the Night Fury. So I get four, and then... That's two re-rolls, right? That's what the two thing means. I get two re-rolls, right? Okay, so I get four right now. So is there something else? No. Oh, no, I just get a bunch of re-rolls with all my other stuff. So... I get two rerolls for that. That was crappy. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do. Do I exhaust? No, these are permanent. So I get to do another reroll, right? Yeah. So I get to do. Who's attacking this guy? No, oh, this guy. Oh. Over here. You gotta move out then. No, oh, he can. He can see him. Not when the corner is a thick wall. Oh. All right. Sorry. My bad. Okay, I'm doing a reroll. That one's a good one. 
And this is a part of the reroll because I had three. Well, roll an extra dice for your critical. Well, I was just doing the reroll really quick oh, okay. before I get cr okay. critical. I don't want to confuse. Okay, and then this is for the critical. Okay. But I can do one other reroll. Okay. This is why he was really good, is he can reroll. Okay. I think we're good. One, two, three, four, five, six. So six, and there's nothing special about the criticals. Who did you attack? The Orc Marauder? Yeah. So six is enough to do overkill, so. And he doesn't get to kick back. Doesn't get to do a payback reaction. I get one extra goal. Yep. Okay. And that was the sword. I show you? Okay. So you take four damage. I took four damage? In this scenario, the chest will do damage, so you, so you take four wounds. <laughs> Did I get four gold? But you get four gold. So I'm So you can now go in the temple. Now. Well, that's the best person to get it, because she heals every turn. From the Genesis class? Yep. I may not be a very big hitter, but I'm smart hitters. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. Okay. <laughs> They're smart. And You're a smart hitter. They're strategic. You're a smart hitter. <laughs> okay, stop. They're strategic. Alright. I don't know what the word is. Just leave me alone. Okay. Okay. Well... Green Sleeves is having a lot of fun shooting, but I guess I can't anymore. So we're going to bring out Maya. Maya is going to go one. Oh, let me just point out. Oh, actually, so I can't. you don't think I'm cheating at all. She does have three life, but this gives her two extra. So What is that? It's the heart of the phoenix. Oh. So three, four, five. So. Five total life? Yes. So I'm at four. So okay. So I did not die. I'm going to take Diva. I'm going to move into the portal. So it's one to move in there, two to go through the portal, and then I'm going to attack the Goblin Archer. Who's the one that's unmovable? Diva? Mm, Who's unstoppable. The one that, un she, she doesn't, uh, Diva doesn't have an ability. Unstoppable. She's annoying. Diva I doesn't have like a her. special ability. She's just a super, she's just tough as nails. She's super tough. Yeah. She's okay, I'm going to use my Ember Strike. And if this rules any critical... Then the target cannot roll defense, which doesn't matter because he doesn't roll defense anyways. But I get five dice, and I have one reroll. And you get to use the rerolls from all the different things, right? Mm, well, the ones that are permanent, I think you can. Oh, from the permanent abilities, right? Not from right, because I didn't use it on this one, because that's the sword. I just used my permanent ones. Um, man, I want to say it's from all of them, though. Well, why would your sword... All the reroll adds to your any roll. So even the weapons? Yeah, all your weapon add to the rolls. Okay. Okay, so I get five dice Works and one reroll. So I'm gonna, this is my reroll. Perfect. Okay, so I get that, and I get to roll two extra dice for the criticals. Get two extra dice for those criticals. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pretty sure Goblin Archer just went bye-bye. So I decided to... Can I shoot past him if I do range? I don't have to shoot him, right? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna um, go. Yeah. Who, who would you do it with? Mm -hmm. He would get to attack you because he's close and you didn't attack him. All right. Well, let's do this then. So one, two. He's gonna attack. He's gonna use the trusty blade. Who are you using? Spike? Yes. Spike has not been one of my best players. He dies a lot. He's a, he's a pretty good hitter though. 
it can be. Okay, these two, I do have a reroll. Okay, so three, where is he at? Where is it at? Where is he at? Here? Mm -hmm. Do I get any extra dice? No? So he doesn't die. What did you use to attack him with? Just that little sword? Yes. Hmm. So he doesn't die. So obnoxious. Um, how much life does he He gets three hits? Yeah. I can't attack again, right? Or roll, I don't have a weapon to attack. Darn it. So. Does he fight back? He does fight back. Dang it. He gets three dice. How many defense dice do you get? Um, looks like one. Well, you get this, two. Oh, three. So three. Okay. Uh, I didn't get any hits, so. Yes. I know, but I do, if I hit, um, if I roll a critical, I do damage back. Oh, okay. So I need, I want to do that. <laughs> well, that was a fail. What about my rerolls? Do I get to do my rerolls? Uh, yeah. I think so. Okay. Come on. Let's kill him. Okay. How. What are the odds of good and what are bad for these things? I'm not telling you nothing about them. You can't tell me that? I placed them. But. <laughs> so that should give you a good indication on whether it's going to be good or bad. Don't trust you. Got it. <laughs>
I really want a big hit. Will you quit healing him? So two damage. He didn't heal. It's only when he attacks. No, I don't know why I do that. So two. And he attacks though, right? Because I'm right there. That's not what I wanted to roll. You're annoying. Two criticals. One critical. Two, four, six. Oh, one, two, three, four damage and heals six. <sighs> three. Oh, I get all of them. Did you say four damage? Mm hmm. Did I block it? Okay, I'm going to attack with my thorn. Single re-roll. Here's my critical roll. So one, two, three, four, five. Nice. I get a roll. Roll, roll, roll defense dice. Four, right? So I block two. So three damage. Where's the end again? Six. Your turn. Was it her? Do I attack back? No, it was this one. Spike's gonna try. Might as well. Right? Mm -hmm. Six dice. Two, three. I don't need all that. Watch it. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Come on, Spike. Let's do this. these two because of that. I'm going to re-roll that because of that. Okay, and then I get, I'm going to use the two criticals for this. Um, this is for this critical. And this is for that critical. Okay, I do extra hits on my criticals. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Spike did some awesome damage. Did he kill him? <gasps> eleven damage? Did he kill him? He just freaking won the game. Woo woo! Spike! Spike did it! My character, who does not do a very good job, beat the big boss. Woo woo! Good job, Mr. Spikers. <laughs> So you won. Least deaths was you. I didn't even die once. Most coins. How many coins do you have? 18. So you got the most coins. So now we go for medal winners. Okay. So now we see how big of a victory you really had. I won one, two, three, four. You won two. So that medal goes to me. For the what? For the winner column. Mm -hmm. Least desk, uh, I got one, two, three, four. You have two. So I get that medal. Most coins. One, two, three, four. You have one, two, three. So I get that medal. <laughs> one reward. We're tied. No, and you have three. Oh yeah, we're tied too. So we both get that medal. So you have zero to one medal <laughs> that was awarded <laughs> to you. So you had a hollow victory. Hollow? Your guild's weak role in the campaign to retake Arcadia did not convince your rivals of your right to rule. Your hold is contested and troublesome. Fights are constant in the streets, and your guild has to keep an eye out for usurpers. So you may have won the final battle, but it was a hollow victory. You know, if I would have won that last one, I would have had an ultimate victory. I'd had five medals. 
would have been an ultimate victory. Yeah, but you didn't win when it counted the most. Yeah, well, it's a hollow victory. It's still a victory. Relish in that. You can't even keep your streets safe. <laughs> you can't even... All right. I don't know. So that's Arcadia Quest. That was our final campaign. Sabrina pulled off the upset. Spike did 11 damage at the end there to finish off Lord Farquaad. Lord Fang. <laughs> Lord Fang. <laughs> Lord Fang. <laughs> Lord Fang. <laughs> And just like that, she is the victor. And you know, while it's Spike a hollow was victor, the underdog, a so. hollow victor at that. She only had one medal awarded to her throughout the whole campaign. I had five, but didn't win when it mattered. So she gets the victory like and I all said. the fame and reputation that comes with in Arcadia. It's been a long video, but thanks for watching, and catch us next time on Hubba vs Sabrina. And keep voting for me. Thanks. That's two. Bye. Bye.